Hey everyone, how's it going? Hassan here, and I have another vlog for you. This is the update from the Pentatonix uh, event, the concert in Washington, D.C., March 29th, Saturday. It happened, and here's what went down. Um, I'm going to kind of give you a rundown of the entire experience. But first things first, just a quick little summary. I was able to go to the concert. Uh, I did miss the beginning of it. But I missed the first few songs, but I, I got to go. Uh, at the last second, I was able to go, and it was awesome. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to meet Pentatonix. Um, I'll kind of explain my reasons uh, later on, or, or kind of what happened. Um, but uh, I wasn't able to meet them. But one day, hopefully one day, I'm not going to give up. I will still try and meet them one day. But uh, definitely, the concert was a lot of fun. So here's what happened. Uh, as you all know, I have been trying for so long to get tickets. Tickets have been sold out, right? And I, you know, put out the video on YouTube and, and asked people to share it. And I got uh, over 75 people to share the video. Um, I, you know, was always tweeting them constantly. I was messaging on Facebook. I was just doing whatever I could to try and uh, get tickets to the show, mainly because I wanted to meet them. I mean, I obviously want to see them again in concert. Uh, I saw them on their first tour um, at the end of 2012, December 2012, in D.C. as well, Washington, D.C., and uh, that was awesome, absolutely amazing. And so, you know, obviously I did want to see them again, but I, I really wanted to meet them this time um, because I thought that would be really cool. I, I know they, they all seem like really cool people, and, and, I, and I really wanted to, uh, to, to meet them. But so, so basically what had happened was I'd been trying and trying and trying to get tickets, and I just I couldn't find anything. Uh, this past week, uh, there was somebody on Facebook selling tickets. I contacted them, no response. Uh, somebody on Craigslist contacted them, no response. Another person on Craigslist, no response. Another person on Craigslist, no response. And I, I just StubHub, the prices were way too crazy. And then finally when they had something decently priced, I was about to go get it, and it was gone before I could actually buy it. Um, I, I checked everywhere, I kept on trying and trying and trying to get tickets, and I was just unsuccessful, you know, I just, I really could not get anything. And that's why my last vlog, uh, I, I kind of let you all know, uh, a day before the concert, you know, I still had no tickets, nothing was, was happening. Uh, so Saturday morning, right, Saturday morning happens, and, um, I put up a listing on Craigslist, just letting people know, hey, I'm still looking for tickets, if anybody happens to have them, let me know. Um, and then uh, I also saw another listing on Craigslist, uh, and I contacted them, no response. I uh, saw another listing on Craigslist, and I contacted them, and they did answer, but they said that they don't really know right now, and uh, they kind of have to see what other offers they have, and they, they'd get back to me in five minutes. And an hour went by, didn't hear back, so I texted them, and no response. And it was getting closer and closer and closer, and it was at that point that I had pretty much accepted that it wasn't going to happen. And then they responded back. And uh, they, they texted me back. They said they still have the tickets. So I called them and I was like, you know, so I'm totally down to, to buy, you know, a ticket. Um, and in the Craigslist thing, he had mentioned, you know, either go to the Metro or meet in Maryland. And I was like, I'm not driving to Maryland. I was going to take the Metro anyway. So I would, you know, instead I would take uh, a different line and go pick up the tickets first or something. Um, but then the guy's like, actually, the Metro thing was kind of a backup. My wife is home. It's sick and stuff, so I can't really leave the house or anything. So uh, that's not really going to work out. I was like, but then why would you put that in the listing? Ah, so then that didn't work out. So literally everything that could go against me went against me. Like everything. And, and, and I pretty much at that point accepted it. It was uh, about... 7.15 or 7.30 and, uh, you know, concerts at 8 o'clock and I pretty much accepted it. I knew it would take me an hour to get there. So I was pretty much like, well, it's over I, and it's time to get ready. And so my plan was, uh, as I mentioned in my last vlog, that usually after their tour or after their concert, they, at their tour bus, a bunch of fans will go and wait by the tour bus and meet them. So I thought, you know, I, I may not have a ticket, but I'll at least go and meet them. That would be a lot of fun. Because that's kind of the main thing that I want to do. You know, I wanted to go and meet them. And uh, 
So I started planning, I was like, you know what, alright, the concert's probably going to end around close to 10 o'clock and, and so I'll get there at that time and I'll, and I'll wait around and, and I'll get to meet them and that would be awesome and I'll record it and everything and, and I'll share it with you all and that would be so much fun. And so then at 7.30, I get an email. Uh, somebody saw my Craigslist thing and they said, hey, I know this is really last minute, but if you're interested, I got a ticket for sale, $35, do you want it? And I was like... Wait a second, thirty-five dollars and ticket. Uh, yes, but it was seven thirty, and it would take me an hour to get there. Concerts at eight o'clock, so ah, I was for that first few like that first minute. I was I was really debating with myself: Is it worth it? What am I gonna do? I don't know. And I said, you know what? I may miss the part of the concert, but something is better than nothing. And I jumped on that. I emailed back ASAP. I said, yes, I'm interested. I'm sending you the money, give me the ticket, I, I'm ready. And uh, I hadn't even eaten dinner or anything at the time, so I'm literally like uh, grabbing the camera, I was uh, trying to go on, uh, open up my email and print out the ticket, and, and my mom's like, you know, you gotta eat something, and so I was grabbing some snacks, and then she was taking some pizza, and she was like trying to like feed me while I'm like running around, it was, it was a funny scene like seriously it was hilarious if you were there you would be laughing it was just it was crazy but I was just like running all over the place just trying to gather everything and I, I head in my car I go out there and uh, it's eight o'clock and I'm at the metro station and I have to take the metro and it's eight stops away so I, I knew I was gonna be late and and I was um, and I get there and it's raining by the way so um, you know I get off of the metro in DC and it's still a 10-15 minute walk from there. So I'm like uh, trying to find the place at first and then I'm like trying to run, but I'm so out of shape. I'm like, uh, you know, breathing so heavy. I was, I was a mess. Like seriously, it was, it was starting to rain pretty hard too. And my umbrella is not the biggest. So like my pants were getting soaked. Uh, my shoes obviously were soaked because stepping in puddles and everything. So I knew my feet were already cold. Um, by the time I actually got to Dar Constitution Hall, which is where the concert was, it was uh, about 8.30, so a half hour had passed. I walked into the thing all wet, um, I, barely breathing. I was like, <sighs> um, and it was just, oh man, I, I was a mess. I was sweating, like I could feel sweat like dripping. I was just a complete mess when I got in there, but I was like, I have to get there. I have to go, go. And as soon as I get in, I hear Pentatonix's voice. They're singing E.T. And I'm like, yes, I can hear their voice. I'm here. So I'm trying to go find my seat and stuff. And and uh, once I get to my seat, they, they start singing Love Again um, from PTX Volume 2, which I love that track. So that was awesome. And so I sit down and I enjoy the concert. Uh, so I, I ended up missing, obviously their opener is Daft Punk, so I missed that. I'm guessing I missed Hey Mama Hit the Road Jack because I think they usually do that like second or third. Uh, they didn't, so I didn't get to see that. So I think I missed that. Um, I'm not sure what else I might have missed. They didn't do an audience participation thing like where they divide up the audience into three groups and, and sing and stuff. And I, I know the recent audience participation was um, Oh, what's the song? I'm blinking on the song. They talked about it on the PT Experience. Uh, I'm totally blanking on the song. But but anyways, they, they didn't do the, the audience participation. So I don't know if I missed that or they just didn't do it or um, I don't know. But yeah, I, I recorded the entire concert that I was there for at least. So I will be uploading those videos over the next day or two. And I apologize for the camera being really shaky. After running there and everything, I was already so tired, and then to have to hold up the camera, my arms were shaking and stuff. Um, I wasn't, like, completely up close. I was sort of towards the back a little bit and off to the side, so I did have to kind of hold up my arm to kind of record a bit, so I was shaking a little bit, and, and my arms are kind of hurting after uh, after doing all that. But, uh, yeah, um, I definitely I recorded it all, and I do want to share that with all of you, so stay tuned. Over the next day or two, you will see... Uh, those videos and I will um, 
Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll post them all, each of the, the songs and everything. And as far as how everything was, I mean, obviously they sounded fantastic. Uh, the, the whole thing was, they have such a, a greater production value. There's so many more lights and everything, and, and Dark Constitution Hall was pretty huge. Uh, it was pretty big. They mentioned that it was their biggest venue on tour, at least so far. I don't know if there's going to be something bigger, but uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty big. And uh, there was some some great stuff. It uh, I I think my favorite would probably have to be Natural Disaster. Uh, I mean, first of all, it sounded great, and then the the light, everything with it w was perfect. I loved that was one where they had the audience kind of sing along at certain parts, and it was that was so much fun hearing the entire hall like singing and everything. Um, and they were killing it on the vocals. Uh, oh man, Avi with the bass on that. Like I love the part when it's like. He like goes or whatever, and then the lights are flashing and everything. Like you could feel the bait. Oh my goodness, I, I can't even describe it. Like hearing that live was just amazing, and uh, it was so much fun. And I think that was the song. That might have been the song. I don't know if it was that one or something else. Scott said that he had the Google Glass, and you can record with that. So I think it was Natural Disaster. Yeah. So he was wearing it and recording the audience like singing along and everything. So I don't know if he's going to post that somewhere or not, or if that's just for his own use or whatever, but that was kind of fun, you know? Uh, so everybody was all getting into it and stuff and, and it was, it was, it was a blast. And their other stuff, they did I Need Your Love, which was great. Uh, they did Run To You off mic. Um, I love the song and it sounded fantastic but it was kind of quiet. I think just because the hall was huge, um, it, it wasn't super loud. Like everybody really had to be quiet and you could kind of hear it. So I don't know if it'll pick up on camera. I hope it does. I recorded it. So I hope it picks up on camera. Um, and, uh, and, but when they especially were getting the, the, the parts, that one part where they're like singing really loud and everything, uh, like the main um, part of it, that sounded great. Um, it was just, everything was, you know, awesome there. Uh, and what other songs did they do? I'm trying to remember. Evolution of Music, that was great. That was a, a lot of fun to, to finally hear live. And they also, they ended with, with Can't Hold Us, uh, which was of course awesome stuff. And they also then did the, um, on, they did an encore, which was uh, Thrift Shop. Uh, but then they also said, because they said this was such a, a big venue and everything, they wanted to do a second encore, so they did We Are Young. So uh, that was pretty cool. And, oh, they, obviously they did uh, the, um, Let's Get It On. Um, and they, they kind of did, I don't know what song it was, but they did another song kind of to lead into it. So that was interesting. Um, they did Aha. And I love, obviously, the, the, from PT Experience, if you've been watching, they had Mitch uh, hit the, the note on the, the little piano background. So that was fun. Um, they did uh, Royals with the intro, like, team, the song Team by Lord. Uh, that intro, which led into Royals. Um, and, yeah, Say Something. Oh, yeah, that was great. Uh, and, and obviously, Avi doing the, the overtones of the, the Lion Sleeps Tonight and, and uh, uh, Kevin, Renegade. That was, that was great, man. That was, he killed it, seriously. So, uh, I might be missing some songs, but all in all, it was an awesome concert. Uh, and so, what happened was then, after the concert... Uh, I went outside. I found the tour bus. It was pretty much right outside and uh, I was starting to wait there and, and a big group of people started forming, like maybe about 50 people. And we were all waiting outside uh, for about an hour. Uh, I kind of expected to kind of wait an hour, you know. So uh, the concert ended about 10 o'clock and uh, it was about 11 o'clock um, when their production manager came out and he said uh, that unfortunately he has some bad news. Pentatonix is, uh, they're really sorry they're not going to be able to come out and, uh, and meet us because they have a lot of work to do. Um, they have some other event that they're doing something for. And he mentioned something about uh, Beijing. So he said they're, they're working on something for Beijing. So I guess Pentatonix is going to Beijing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so he said, you know, unfortunately they weren't able to, to, to come out or anything. So, uh, yeah, at first I was, I was pretty crushed because that was kind of the, the main thing there. You know, if I hadn't gotten the concert ticket, I would have gone to D.C. to try and meet them. And I would have waited out there and then not met them. So that would have been just terrible. But at least I got to go to the concert and I had a fantastic time. That was, that was great. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was disappointed at first. I mean, you know, I totally understand they were busy and everything. Um, 
but uh, you know, I mean, I really wanted to meet them, so that was that was disappointing. But you know, by the end of it, by the time the the metro and the the car ride home and everything, now that I'm home, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of like, all right, you know, it was disappointing, but at the same time, I had a great time and. Overall, things were good. And actually, I did get, uh, let me grab my phone here. I got a, a tweet from Kevin. So he actually, because I had tweeted uh, the group uh, afterwards and I was like, you know, hey, you know, I wish I could have met you. And, you know, unfortunately, I know you guys were busy, but thanks for the great show and everything. Um, and he said, uh, hey, man, we're sorry. We were just trying to get a lot of work done before the next day started, but hopefully next time. So, um, yeah, no, that's pretty cool that he, he you know, he took, the, he took the time out to, to respond back and everything. So that definitely, you know, made things a lot better. Because I know they, they, they are always trying to do stuff for the fans, you know. It, they, they would never do this, you know, on purpose. I, I know they're, they're always really busy. They're on tour. They always have more stuff to do and arranging songs or whatever. So, you know, I, I know that they're, they're busy. So I can't, uh, you know, blame them for that. Um... And, uh, yeah, so, but that that's cool, though, that he, you know, took the time out to say, you know, sorry, and, and hopefully next time. And, yes, hopefully next time. So, that is it. That is my second Pentatonix concert. Uh, I saw most of the concert, but so I guess it kind of counts. Um, and uh, now it's time for getting ready for whenever the next tour is. I guess next year I'm going to be ready to buy those those tickets, hopefully VIP tickets or something, so I can finally meet them. I feel like... You know, I feel like everything kind of happens for a reason. And uh, as much as I love the group, you know, I didn't get to meet them, but I met so many other great fans, so many other cool pentaholics out there, and so many other people tried to help me out, and I really appreciate that. I seriously thank you to everybody. Um, that That's just been absolutely amazing. And it just... It only makes me want to, to meet them even more, you know? It's sort of like everything happened for a reason, because I was going to go to D.C. and try and meet them, uh, but I ended up getting a ticket, and thankfully that happened because I actually got to see something, because otherwise I would have gone there for nothing. So um, everything happened for a reason, and I, and I was able to go to the concert, which is which is awesome. Um, and it's almost like, I feel like that me meeting Pentatonix is going to be this like epic big thing, because it's like, I, I've been there from when they first started at the sing-off, and I've been a fan, and I tried so hard this time to meet them and everything, and I got so close, but unfortunately I couldn't. But it's sort of like, I'm getting there, you know? And then when I finally do meet them, it, it's just going to be awesome. So, and and maybe, you know, maybe they'll recognize me. I, I don't know if Kevin, uh, you know, if he, if he remembers me still, because I know he used to watch my videos. Uh, I know the others, like at least Avi has, has tweeted me and stuff before. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they remember me, maybe not, but hopefully when I do meet them, whenever the next tour is or whatever, um, it'll be epic. It'll be awesome, and I'm, I'm excited. So, yeah, that's that. So, it is late at night. It is now 1 o'clock, and I didn't even eat dinner. I had, um, a couple bites of a pizza and a little, uh, like, granola bar thing. So, I'm probably going to go eat something and post some pictures and... Start getting some of the videos ready because over the next day or two, you're going to see all those Pentatonix videos as well. So that is that. I just wanted to share my experience because I know all of you have been along with me on this ride this entire time. And I just wanted to kind of share the experience of the night. So all in all, it was a great time and hope you enjoy all the videos. Again, I'm sorry for the shaky camera, but hopefully at least the, the audio quality will be okay. I haven't watched it back yet, so I don't know. But uh, I tried my best. Um, oh, and a couple, uh, another thing I noticed uh, uh, on the video, you'll see uh, Mitch was wearing like a glow in the dark shirt, and I think part of Scott's shirt was was as well. So especially, I think during Aha or something, when it would go dark, Mitch's shirt would be glowing, and then the lights would flash, and the lights behind him obviously would be glowing. So it was kind of cool, like that little the, his his shirt glowing and everything. Like that was kind of fun. Uh, There's just a lot of like little things like that that were that were kind of cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't I mean, it was a great time. I, I, I had fun. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, check out those videos. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Got lots more Pentatonix reaction videos. Every time they release something new, I will be reacting to it. So definitely stay tuned for those videos. And uh, thank you all so much for all the support for everybody that tried to help me out. I really do appreciate it because there were so many times when I felt like you know, giving up, and at the end of the day, even though I didn't get to meet them, I got to go to the concert, and it's only because all of you were there alongside me helping 
motivate me and helping me really keep on trying to 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 uh, meet them or at least go to the concert or something so things worked out in the end so thank you and i really do appreciate it so that's that thanks for watching see you guys later